everybody. Welcome to my cozy cottage. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing great. I am sharing a kitchen decorate with me today. So I hope you enjoy it and a lot of things. I tried to put a little twist on them and they were items from the Dollar Tree. Also wanted to share this top. This came from Timu and I thought it was really cute. It was under five dollars. I like the loose front, a little shorter on the hip and medium kind of covering half the butt. <laughs> so with all that being said, let's get to decorating today. Here we go. Let's start with the island in my kitchen that I eat on. It's six feet long and two feet wide and it has seating for four. So I got these adorable placemats. Make memories along the way and they're going with my spring and garden theme. So I'm gonna place these on the island. Okay, so this is what they look like. And I'm not gonna put a centerpiece because I use this a lot and I'm just gonna fill in this space right here. So I'm starting with this tray that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a mirror actually, but I'm using it as a little tray. And I'm placing a topiary on it. And there we go. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Nice, simple, perfect for spring. Next, we're moving to the counter. And yes, I do have a toaster cover. It's a small kitchen and it does have to function. But I'm gonna decorate in the pocket of the toaster cover. Put some plastic bags in the pocket. I'm placing this little sign in here. And I'm going to add some little apple picks. Yes, these came from the Dollar Tree and I like the theme of going farm to table for the kitchen. Next, I'm adding this placemat in the back to help hide the plug to add some texture and to brighten up this area here. And I found this adorable bird canvas from the Dollar Tree. So I'm also going to add that. Okay, that's how that's looking. Toaster, placemat, bird. Now I need to add something in front of it. Now my kitchen's small, so I'm gonna place some decor in front, but it's very narrow and I need to be able to move it and still be able to use this as a working space. Okay, so we are starting with these wood crates that I did as a DIY project. It was three that I glued together from the Dollar Tree and I stained them. So that's what's going in front right here. These beauties were also a DIY I did last year or the year before. Jars and I placed them on a candlestick. I added a little rustic bow with a button and I filled them with rocks this time. And I have two of them. So I am gonna place one on each side of my baskets. Okay, so that's how that's looking and I'm really loving it natural kind of a garden look now i'm going to add something in the middle for that this greenery i got this from amazon it was a set of two different types of greenery and i love them last i had a couple of cute little mini glass mugs i love glass items especially because i have glass here i'm just going to pop them in and that'll be that for this area this tiered fruit basket that I got from Burlington. It was $9.99 and I'm going to add some decorations to this. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with some greenery and I'm just going to do a little ring in the top. One in the top and one in the bottom. Just wrapping it around the inside. Next, I'm gonna fill the bottom with apples. Now, these are faux apples. You could use real apples. I just prefer to use the faux. And by myself, I wouldn't have that many apples in the house, and I think they look so pretty. 
on display in your kitchen. Now, what I love about this piece that I got is I knew that I can put apples, oranges, limes, anything for this piece and change it up easily. Now for the top, let's see what I do there. I'm adding this little house and I'm going to get a chalkboard eventually. I didn't, I couldn't I actually have one, I couldn't find it. So for today, I'm gonna put this house and put something in front of it, but I would like a chalkboard that says fresh fruit market. How cute is that for now above these? But like I said, I eventually want to get something that says fresh fruit. So when I change out the fruit, it'll, it'll match pretty much anything. Okay, so here's how this looks. And I'm going to put this on the counter, kind of next to the stove. Okay, so this is how that looks. It's next to my stove. And let me just show you the backsplash on my stove. I had a wooden backsplash designed for my stove and I have two little lamps here. And that's where the fruit basket is, right here. Now next to that is another basket. And this basket is here all the time. It has my spices, I might as well show you. It's just easy for me to grab. And from here, it looks cute, it's just a little basket. So that's pretty much always. So next to my basket, I added a little vase of white flowers, simple. I have a canister container. This holds my K-cups. Yes, I buy a lot of coffee and it's on a little riser from Target. Another little coffee canister. That one usually can hold the tea. And my coffee little Keurig here. And this has my favorite cup on it, more for decor. It's hard to show, but I want to show a way that I tried to change up and dress up my old cabinets. I painted them black, and on these, you'll see a lot of reflection. That's because these are doors I ordered from Ikea, and I just changed the doors. Let me show you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open one so you can see from the inside. They don't have handles. I grabbed them from the bottom, and you'll see from here, it has like a smoke glass. So I thought that adds a little extra detail to dress up my cabinets. The rest of them our wood. Sorry about the window glare. I'm trying to show you my other cabinets and those are just black. Okay, next to my stove, I wanna show you a few cute little things. These are, I don't own a lot of Mackenzie Childs, but these are Mackenzie Childs napkins right here. My mom's special little glasses that I keep out. And I've got a couple glasses here just because I use them a lot for tablescapes. So sometimes it's quick grabbing for videos. Now here is my cutting board hooks. I love them. It says kitchens bring families together and it's a great place to change for the seasons. So this is a little DIY I did. I added this little bird. I got these cute pot holders from the Dollar Tree and I also got this metal plant holder from the Dollar Tree. And I filled it with some lavender and white flowers. So I'm real happy with that area there. So up above that, I have a little green wreath with lights. I believe I got that one from Amazon, an architectural detail, and I always change out my plate rack. So this time I have black and white, and I have a little wooden bunny cutting board, which I love. It seems to go with the spring theme. Those came from Target, and I thought they were adorable. So I'm stepping back so you can see a little better. So it's my cutting board hooks, the wreath, and over across to the plate rack. And my other wall has my pantry sign pretty much year round. Another plate rack. I just love plate racks. Those I did this time just plain black. I can change plates every week if I want. If I get bored with a theme or plates or something, I can just change them up and it's such an easy way to change a decor. So that's this wall in the kitchen and that's my little refresh for today. Okay, so I wanna show you around the little things that I did to refresh my kitchen for spring. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'd love for you to consider subscribing and joining my Cozy Cottage family. Bye for now, my friends.